Hi there, it's Wes. Welcome back to my channel, Beat the Market, where we beat the market with dividends. In this video, we are going to talk about last week's markets. What were the headlines, the big surprises, the performances of the indices, and my own portfolio. And we're looking forward to next week's market. What macroeconomic news is there to keep an eye out for? Last week, my dividend portfolio increased from 9400 to 9600 a 2.2% increase. I'm very happy with that, since, as we will see later, the S&P 500 increased only 2%. I outperformed the indices by 20 basis points. I'm very happy with that result. But, when I had a look at the amount of dividend I received last week, I became less happy. Unfortunately, I didn't receive any dividends from our portfolio. However, next week we'll receive dividends from Walgreens, PepsiCo and Nike which I'm very happy about. I will reinvest those dividends to compound them and one day my goal is to live off of dividends. Let's get this snowball rolling. So what happened in the markets last week? Overall it's been a very green market, consumer confidence is high and the S&P 500 even gave us an all time high, closing the week on 5088 points. What do you expect from the S&P 500 from the upcoming period? If you ask me. I get a little bit scared by how much everything has increased lately. Almost all indices for all countries are at an all time high except China. Or near all time highs. And it seems to me like so much FOMO by mainly retail investors. My expectation for the upcoming period is not as nice. I expect the pullback to shake out a little bit of the FOMO created and don't get me wrong. These are healthy pullbacks and that's what the market has been doing for ages. I will be watching it go down, sell some cash secured puts to grab some nice juicy premiums and deploy more capital into my dividend growth portfolio. As said before, the S&P 500 reached a new all time high. It, it's insane how much the market has increased this year alone. Looking at the other markets, the Nasdaq increased 1.8%, the Dow Jones 1.6% and the Russell 2000 0.35%. The major headline of last week was of course NVIDIA earnings. Every investor has been eyeing the earnings that were released last Thursday. And again, NVIDIA did not disappoint. With record high revenue and net profits, they smashed the record for one day valuation increase. The increase in their market cap in one day has never been that high for any company. For me as a multi-asset investor, as a profession, I am also following other kinds of markets, from the bond market to the commodity market. And there was a slightly remarkable headline for the commodity market which said, corn and soybean futures fall to fresh three years lows. Is this going to decline inflationary pressures even more as the input cost of food declines? I have established a target for myself. Within the next five years, my aim is to build a portfolio worth 100,000 euros generating an annual dividend of around 5,000 euros. This equates to a 5% dividend yield and a little bit over 400 euros a month. This sounds delightful to me. It offers a sense of freedom. Ultimately, my aspiration is to derive enough dividend income from my portfolio to sustain myself. While this may be a distant objective, I've selected a dividend of 5,000 a year as a mid-term goal. This choice provides me with focus and direction. My strategy involves in investing in dividend growth stocks, aiming to ensure that the dividend income not only meets, but also surpasses inflation over time. Otherwise, the buying power of your portfolio simply decreases. Additionally, I aspire for my overall portfolio to deliver a dividend growth rate ranging between 5% and 10% annually. Looking ahead to the rest of the month, I plan to create two more videos one video in which I will research stocks. In the upcoming video, I will research Palantir and see if this is an interesting uh, to scoop up some stocks of Palantir and the monthly recap. In March, I will mostly provide stock videos I am, as I'm with my wife traveling around Vietnam. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to see for the stock videos. Please let me know if you if you enjoyed this first weekly update video, I plan to do these every week from now on. Getting insights in the market is so valuable as an investor. What did the markets do? Why did they move? What interesting and news headlines have you missed? And what should you keep an eye out for the next weeks? 
Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below how you performed last week and subscribe to the channel. I wish everyone an amazing weekend and goodbye. See you in the next video.